Anthony, welcome to Bradford City. How does it feel to be here first and foremost? Yeah, uh, made up now. It's all done and sorted and uh, I'm buzzing to, to be at Bradford City. I can't wait to get going. How's it come about? The season's not been finished all too long. You guys obviously got your business done quite early in terms of winning the title and being ready to go on holiday and, and get pre-season started. How, how did the move come about? Just basically one of one of those, um, uh, a free agent in the summer. Um, and obviously, as you know, in football, the, you know, word gets about and the gaffer here and, and David Sharp were, were quick to get on the phone and, you know, as a footballer, all you want to do is feel that, feel the feel to be wanted and feel loved and I've worked with a gaffer before and you know as soon as and not only that the size and the status club being here many years it was a it was a bit of an no-brainer it was a tough one you know it had to be a, a good club for me to to turn away from Stockport but I feel like I've made a, a good decision. You mentioned the size and stature what else was it that attracted you to the club and how have those early conversations been with the manager you know, you've had a conversation with him down the training ground already? Yeah it's just you know it's the, the club needs to to start getting up uh, getting up the leagues again and and they're, they're they're paramount in that this year is going to be the year they, they, they want to start getting up the leagues and getting promoted and they came to me with with everything I've done in, in my career they, they feel I'll be a massive addition to the club and uh, that's my aim to to get the promotion this year does the seven promotions that you've got in your career so far help with that you coming in in terms of them looking at you and thinking what you can bring to the squad? Yeah, I think it's massive help. I've you know I've been there and done it and and out of this league many times, so I think they've they've seen maybe quite of a, a good acquisition to the to the to the squad. It's already a good squad, um, but no, he, that's what he said. He wants to implement players now that have had that success in this league, and hopefully I can bring that. How important is that as well, not just in terms of experiencing the success, but having that winning mentality and getting into that habit of, like we say, the last three clubs that you've been at have all been promoted out of League Two. You've kind of got that instilled in you now, I would imagine, over the past sort of five years. You know what it takes to get out of this league and you're almost in that habit of having done so. Yeah, it's you know it's a tough league to get out of, like, as, as any league is, but like you said, I've, I've been there now and done it... Um, a couple of times now so hopefully I can just bring what I can uh, my standards and my drive and and obviously my winning mentality to, to the to the group that's already here and for the fans and the club uh, hopefully it's all added up and, and we can get the job done this year and again in terms of experience in this league having done it five times from this league that probably helps as well some of them more recent than others but the league doesn't change too much in that sense having achieved promotion back in the day at certain clubs and also more recently with Stockport and obviously with Bolton. That probably helps having that sort of widespread knowledge and experience in this division being successful over a number of years. Yeah, you know, obviously the, the leagues change every year, clubs come down, clubs come up, um, but it's always the same case. I think we've got to concentrate on ourselves, make sure, like you said, early doors, we, we make sure that we're, we're a team to be reckoned with in the, in the league. Obviously most clubs come here and, and they're ready for it with the stadium and the stature of this club. And we've got to be that team that can handle that, handle that pressure, handle the the excitement from everyone that thinks we're going to do it. And we've got to make sure that when we go on the pitch, we, we give it everything. And come the end of the season, we're, we're all celebrating. You've been here plenty of times, played here plenty of times as a player. For those who perhaps haven't seen too much about you, what kind of a player would you describe yourself as? Just a just a winner. Uh, as soon as I'm on the pitch, I give it give it everything. Um, I'd like to provide bits of quality, goals and assists, and overall, just like I said, just make sure that everyone around is uh, pulling in the same direction and, and make sure we get them three points every weekend. Again, being out here, seeing what the stadium is like on a match day, can be like on a match day, and the, the passion from the supporters is over 13,500 season tickets sold already for next season. How much does that excite you as a player coming here and wanting to feed off that and, and give them something to cheer about as well? Yeah, it's massive. I think everyone knows how, how important fans are, especially, like you said, with the backing that we get here at home. We need to make sure that we get them, get them on our side straight away. Make sure they stay with us in the games, and, and we've got to be the ones on the pitch to make sure that we make sure they're happy going home on Saturday or a Tuesday night, and and that's our job. In that sense, you mentioned you're a winner when you're on the pitch. Fans obviously feed off that kind of energy. You've won the armband as well quite regularly at previous clubs, in particular Stockport. What can we see? What can we expect from you in that sense, in terms of being a leader, driving standards, and, and expecting a lot from yourself and your teammates? Yeah, exactly that. It's just for the 90 minutes I'm on that pitch, or for however long I am, um, you'll see 100% every time. And 
and hopefully then you know it, it can ignite some it can ignite your teammates to to be on that level because you know some games it might not be going for us and sometimes the fans might be on us but us as a group and individuals we need to relish that and as a player like like I said I'm, I'm always going to be one that's going to be driving that and hopefully they they can see that on the pitch. We're back in for pre-season soon. How much are you looking forward to getting in the dressing room for the first time with your new teammates and building towards hopefully what will be a successful season? Yeah, I've got a buzz in. Can't wait now. I uh, feel like I've had too long off now with my two kids, so I feel like I've been a full-time dad the last two, three weeks. So, no, I'm ready. I can't wait. Um, buzzing to meet the boys, buzzing to get back in. You know, nothing beats getting back uh, with the lads. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited.